Hello and welcome back. So far we have configured a normal Active Directory related user accounts, security groups and licensing. These are very basic. All these things can be configured from your Office 365 admin center also. So in other way, we have not touched anything in the Intune other than configuring MDM authority. Since we have not touched much into the Intune, now let's uh, deep drive into Intune. Uh, so before doing anything, if you can you know locate uh, this navigation or within this blade uh, you can understand that as a first step should be you would be you know uh, configuring the device enrollment process then you would be going back to the device complaints that means if a device is already enrolled so enrollment is like registering uh, the device with Intune. That means in Intune will have that MDM authority and it can perform the required actions. So what are the actions? Maybe you can think another way. This is going to be a high level uh, flow. You can think another way. Uh, so once the device is enrolled, you would be configuring some kind of complaints policies. Let's take some kind of settings, maybe a Windows specific settings or mobile device specific settings like the device should not be rooted or should not be jailbreaked or shouldn't be installed some kind of a specific applications or such things can be uh, configured under device complaints and if it is not meeting that device complaints levels you would be getting notifications you can uh, automatically remediate such things can be done under device complaints now what exactly device configuration so you're going to configure the device configurations within this so when we look at the device configurations you will have a different profiles so for example uh, maybe you want to apply a VPN profile maybe a Wi-Fi profile settings for a specific set of target devices such things can be done from the power uh, from the profiles in fact or you want to configure any of the eSIM related or configurations for the mobile profiles so all that can be done with Within this tab or within this plate and coming back to the device security this is where you're uh, controlling the device uh, security baselines this is uh, some of the features are still in the preview but there are you know built-in uh, baselines which are measuring all the required configurations or if you want to you can create your own baseline configuration on your uh, for the mobile devices purpose and then you can apply or maybe for the Windows 10 now, if you look at the devices section would uh, give you more information on what kind of all the devices you have uh, which is coming from all devices here and also you have here Azure AD devices so the difference between uh, all devices and Azure AD devices is like it's not uh, it's not mandatory that all the devices which are discovered on your active directory which is Azure Active Directory it's not mandatory that that will enroll into all devices that means not may not be enrolled in your Intune devices so you need to uh, you need to configure uh, basically uh, the policies to enroll automatically your uh, devices if you have the licenses to manage them so the difference would be another way Intune managed devices or all devices as your AD devices are from Azure directory that's a major difference now uh, we also have the client apps so client apps is a mechanism where you can push the applications you can distribute the applications and you can uh, send the required applications either from uh, from the legacy application either MSC or MSI or M uh, EXE or Apex or whatever the configuration specific can be you know, pushed up and that can be a devices uh, mobile devices or it can be a Windows 7 or 8.1 and Ebo machines now um, these are the key things which needs to be you need to know and especially for the conditional access you can configure your specific settings so that you can apply your uh, policies so that if a user is connecting from his home device since the device is coming from home network or not from the corporate network you can request that hey you need to authenticate for multi-factor authentication you can set such kind of you know conditional access policies uh, we can configure uh, such things uh, from the conditional access and these are all are the very basic uh, for the software updates you can uh, do the software updates for all Windows 10 or iOS devices uh, these are the key things which can be done within the Intune portal. Now uh, we might have or uh, we may have each section or each lecture will be uh, drilled down with all the highest 
possible options we would be exploring as part of this training which may be company in in the most of the companies they might uh, configure these kind of uh, baselines that's what we are gonna look into this uh, entire training and also we would uh, like we would enroll as part of our windows devices and mobile devices